Today, we are talking flying with a guitar. One of the first issues I knew was gonna come up when I came up with the idea for the Foreign Voices Traveler Store was flying with my guitar. Because I love my guitar so much, it is a prized possession, and uh, I will never check it. I've heard many a horror story of guitars coming back broken, damaged, in whatever kind of way, just not treated well uh, at all. One of the biggest issues when flying with a guitar is that there's no guarantee. So every airline has their own rules, every country has their own laws. Some are really good about it. Luckily, I've never broken a guitar, knock on wood, but it's something I'm constantly worried about. When you're flying with a full-size guitar, obviously you can't put it in the overhead, there's no way it would fit. And I think a lot of airlines actually make you purchase another seat for your guitar, which <laughs> is ridiculous. So your options are checking it or getting it into the hostess closet. And that is your best bet. The issue is the closet's not that big because it's on a plane. So if there are other people with instruments, you gotta be a little competitive and make sure you're the first one to the closet. I remember one time I was on a flight. It was when I was moving to Berlin and I had my guitar and there was another guy in the line who had a banjo and he and I looked at each other and we knew that there was a competition going on to see who could get to the closet first. And then as soon as we got there, they had room for both instruments and then we were suddenly best friends. But until you know your instrument is safe, nobody's your friend. So I got in touch with the amazing people at Journey Instruments and they sent me this. This is one of the travel guitars from their overhead series. And it is called that because this tiny little thing fits in the overhead on planes. One of the things that I love about this is that not only is it a great guitar, and we'll talk about that in a second, but the bag itself is so smartly made. So first of all, it's a backpack. Second of all, you got a spot for your computer, a place to put your tuners, your capos, your picks, all that fun stuff. And then right here is the neck of the guitar. If you open it up this way, obviously here we have the body. We have the strings that are held in place by this little elastic right here. And then there's the neck. If looking at the guitar like this gives you anxiety, don't worry, same. <laughs> so you take the neck, you just put it in place here. And then with this hand on the body here, this arm goes up against the fretboard and you're gonna push it together. And the click means you did it right. It's not horribly out of tune. Considering that a couple seconds ago the neck wasn't attached to the body, the strings are pretty in tune. <laughs> so there you have it. Travel guitar, Journey Instruments. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to Journey Instruments for this awesome travel guitar. I'm so excited to bring her along on the next couple shows of the Foreign Voices Travelers Tour. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't or, you know, Go tell your friends and family to subscribe. I'm sure some of them haven't yet. Leave me a comment down below. Have you flown with a guitar? Have you struggled to fly with a guitar? What do you do when you're on the road? The song that's been playing throughout this entire video is my new single, Foreign Voice. Please go check it out. There's a link in the description. I think that's all the things. You can give me a thumbs up. That's another thing YouTubers tell you to do. Comment, subscribe, and uh, check out clairehawkinsmusic.com for more updates. All right, that's it. Thank you guys, bye. Working on my foreign